Hello again, and welcome back to another episode of Boot Camp for New Players. In this episode, we're going to be talking about the lead reticle pip and the trailing pip, the star, the diamond, the circle, the combined pip. We're going to be explaining all the pips, how to use them, and why they're being used. Uh, in this demonstration today, we are going to be using the anvil hornet. Pips are used to get your guns to line up with the target and it allows you to lead your target enough so that when you fire your round it will impact the target at the point of flight. So you different guns have different velocities that they travel. Some fly faster, some fly slower. So you will have different pips for each individual weapon Warning. if it has a different velocity. Inbound. In this example here we're going to be using bulldog repeaters and tarantulas. The tarantulas are cannons so they're going to fly a little bit slower than your bulldog repeaters which are lasers. Alright now so we're going to maneuver in we're going to target our Vandal Scavenger 3. The first pip you're going to see is for the cannon because it has a longer effective range. Then when we get close enough the second pip will appear. It will be a square for a laser. The triangle is for the cannon and you see as I fire little flashing lights appear around the triangle. That lets you know that is the pip you're pulling the trigger for. Now the square appears. That is for the lasers. So when I fire the lasers, you'll also see little pips around the laser. Letting you know that is the trigger you're pulling. Now when your target is out of your arc of your guns, or out of the range of the weapon's effective range, the pips will turn red. The faster the target goes, the more you might need to lead him, so the longer your pips will become. Just be aware of which pip corresponds to which weapon group, and then when you fire that trigger, understand that that's where your shots are going. Now when targeting your opponent, if he's flying directly away or directly towards you, that is a no deflection shot. And when you get close to no deflection and the pips start to overlap because it, there is no um, difference in where you need to aim, it turns into a new icon like that. That is your combined target. That's when you want to fire all your guns. That's what we call the sweet spot. Now there's also an indicator to let you know when you're actually making contact with the enemy. You'll see these little blue lines emanate from your pip. Like that. That's the blue lines I'm talking about that emanate from your pit. Letting you know you're making impact with your weapons. Zero hostile contacts remaining. Now I'm going to show you how to change to a lead pip indicator. You need to go to your options. And then click on Flight Lead Pip Reticle, change it to Yes. What this will do, this will attach the lead indicator 
to the target and not to your weapon group. It will not be a lag pip behind your weapons. It will be a lead pip on the target. <clears throat> Contact. Elite units en route. This is especially useful if you're using a joystick. If you have any kind of fixed fired weapons, ones that fire straight to the center crosshair of your ship, this is an excellent flight option. Also can be used with gimbaled weapons just as easily as I'm demonstrating here. still get the two pips, you'll still get, or you might even get more than two, but you'll still get different weapon groups, different velocities, your targeting computer is telling you how far to the lead do you need to lead your target. notice it'll be it's a complete waste of energy and cooling ability to pull both triggers firing at both pips when you can only aim at one so you're you're causing your weapons to overheat and possibly wasting ammunition if you do not have both pips on your target Elite units eliminated. Scanning. Warning. There are multiple hostiles inbound. Scanning. Hostiles inbound. Now there is a little bit of a debate between the lead Shield. pips, which I'm demonstrating now, and the lag pips. Uh, one of the debates one of the one of the topics that have been brought up is when you're in this mode and you're dogfighting your opponent the lead pip is your center of focus your eyes are focusing you're aiming on these little triangles and these little squares in space and that's where you're aiming where when you have the lag pip you're actually aiming at the target ship and your, your point of aim is not necessarily any different, but because the, your pip is now on the target and not in a space in front of the target, you're actually able to maintain a situational awareness when it comes to what that target is doing. Because by using a lag pip, you're actually focusing on the positioning, the arrangement, how this, what the ship's doing. Because see, the ship could be decoupled and flying backwards. And if you're using the lead pip indicator, you'll never know this because you're concentrating on the direction of flight, the lead pip. Now, if you have the lag pip and you are focusing on the ship and you're focusing on keeping your weapons pip, or trailing pip on the target you'll be seeing the target clearly and you'll see when it does any kind of crazy Ivan or when you see it go into decoupled mode so I understand it's only a few few you know maybe an inch on the screen but when your eyes start to adjust and you start to really focus on the pips uh, you do develop slight, a slight blinder to what you're actually shooting at. You're just shooting at pips. So that's something you might consider. You might try both and see which one works out for you. All right, now in my next demonstration here, what I'm going to show you is what happens when you have a fixed fired forward weapon 
as well as a gimbaled or turreted mounted weapon, you're going to have, and the trailing pip, it's going to come off of your weapons. And now remember, you've got this fixed fire, fire weapon, and you'll have a gimbaled weapon on your circular target. Now you'll notice you have two pips and two indicators. One goes to the fixed weapon, which is the center of your center crosshair, and then the next one is your aiming point, where you plan to fly around and aim. I personally consider this the hardest weapon loadout uh, available. You can lock your gimbal to your front firing crosshair. If you do that, if you're planning on doing that, then don't have a gimbaled weapon at all. I mean, if you're planning on doing that. Now you'll notice that my aiming, my gimbal pip is a circle. That's because it is a laser cannon and not a repeater. Laser cannons have circles. Okay, now in this next example, I've got all my guns locked to my center crosshair. Or do I? Wait. Maybe I don't. I've got a center. Okay, this, this is it. I put it on lead pip, so now it's on my target. It leads my target, but I still have gimbaled and I still have fixed fired forward. And you'll see that even though it's lead, it's still very difficult. Warning. Now in this example, all my weapons are fixed firing forward and I have it on trailing pip, so it will be off of my guns or off my center crosshair. You're going to see the, the pips, see how it's leading off my trailing crosshair? And I have to put that little square on my target and fire. I'm not gimbaled. I'm relying on my front crosshair. This is sometimes a good way to do it for joysticks. It's always better to have like fixed forward firing weapons with joysticks. I personally think that uh, gimbaled weapons are great for mouse users. Or for mouse aimers, I should say. Because you can fly with a joystick and still aim with a mouse. All right, now in the next one, what we're going to do is we're going to change it to a lead Contact. tip indicator off of our target. Still fixed fired forward. Panther repeater in the nose and two mass drivers in the wings, all fixed firing to the crosshair. But the lead tip is off of the target. See, I do believe that the lead pip is better for fixed firing. But you just take your eyes off your opponent. 
All you're watching is a pimp. Swarm initiated. Scanning. Warning. There are multiple hostiles inbound. Scanning. Bogey. Incoming hostiles. <laughs> now this is the lag pip. All gimbal. Hostile contacts remaining. Hopefully that had explained what the difference is between the squares, the triangles, the circles, why some of them are longer than others, why they're not sitting on top of each other, and uh, what the little flashing lights around them are mean. Uh, I hope, hopefully it explained all of that, and I appreciate you guys coming out and checking out Boot camp for new players, pips, and what they are. Alright, and I'll see you Zero in the verse. Contacts remaining.